Mic check, mic check, 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 check. How we doing? So, so Ice Cube got me pumped up today. I've been on one my whole career, so ain't nothing new. You know, I felt like I've been ahead of the curve, and I've been waiting for people to catch up. Um, we got to do, man. You know, it's an election coming up. Um, I don't think neither party respect what we need done to uh, close this wealth gap. Um, and I think we need, we gotta use our vote, this black vote as a tool. You know, some call it a weapon to get what we want. Don't, don't matter which party give it to us, somebody gotta get behind the contract um, with black America. It's very broad. It deals with a lot of our pain. Um, and it helps us catch up, you know, me, I, I don't really, I ain't got nothing else I'm doing or passionate about, but some change, you know, I don't give a damn about a movie or a record or none of that. I care about changing it, changing the situation for black people in this country. Um, and I want people, you know, to get behind it. You know, we got a short window. This is it. If we don't get it now. Might be another 30 years before we get any of this. We got to go for it now. It ain't no time to play. You know, I don't want my kids, uh, grandkids, uh, great whatever, great grandkids, anybody after that to have to deal with this. Bullshit. We got to change it now. Straight up. We got to get serious. We got 90 some day, 92 days to uh, push this program. I need all hands on deck. This your homeboy Ice Cube. Woo! Leadership. Ice Cube, let's go. Proud of you. Osiris here, and I'm going to create a series of videos covering the document that Ice Cube just penned called A Contract with Black America. This is a serious document. This is something that took time, thought, effort to put together, and I commend Ice Cube for elevating our conversation around race to tangible issues, tangible requests that can open up the conversation to heal our country so we can move on. It fits perfectly with the mantra of this channel, Stuck in the Middle, Ice Cube in that short clip mentioned he's not tied into Republicans or Democrats and that's what stuck in the middle is about. We know there might be some things with Republicans we agree with and some things we disagree and the same with Democrats. It it is never a all Democrat, all Republican thing. It's not possible. And Cube is elevating the conversation from police reform to money and education. Now, in the document, it covers a vast array of topics, but the number one and number two topics are money and education. This, I found this section very effective. To acknowledge that what ignited much of this was the killing of George Floyd saying it set off a wave of protests. But then turning it to the global pandemic. The pandemic, the virus, is not racist. So let me give you some numbers. And it goes on to say the black mortality rate is more than double the white rate. Why is that? There's There are things systemically that disproportionately affect black Americans. So they took the conversation off of police reform to start the document. That is not what this document is going to start with. And it took it to a neutral party, the virus. And the virus affected the whole globe, affected the whole U.S., why it does it disproportionately affect black Americans? 
And that can't happen. We can't be okay with that. That can't be argued. I'm not stuck in the middle on that. And I hope no one else is. That a virus comes through and disproportionately affects a group in our country like it has black Americans. Mortality rate more than double the white rate. And uh, 45%, nearly half of black owned businesses closed. That is tangible evidence from a neutral trigger that things are not equal. It's awful that it took that to really bring, to highlight it in this manner, but that highlights it, highlights it in such a strong way. So they mention George, George Floyd, but then they bring it into this unquestionable middle ground because the George Floyd killing is, is more... Um, divisive and they bring it into this more neutral ground this links to a larger political and economic vulnerability whether we're in a pandemic or not the moral devaluation of black lives has been ingrained in America's political economy and is long overdue for a reckoning let me give another sentence again this is just the tone I'm not getting into the meat the document is all meat this is just the intro piece, and I want to highlight some of the tone, and that's what the purpose is of, these, of the preface and, and some of these sentences here. While this contract with black America may seem radical to some, the result will be a harmonious society that benefits everyone rather than the more radical alternative, which is watching the great American experiment come apart at the seams. Strong, strength, fair. Stuck in the middle. This is for everyone, and there are consequences. <laughs> you, you might think this document is radical. This is not a black... It, it, this is not a black is better document. This is a let's address this and move on together. Caps, all caps, everyone. This will benefit everyone. And then, I ain't saying it's a threat, but, eh, rather than the more radical alternative. So, you think this document's radical? The alternative is more radical. And that's watching the great American experiment come apart of the seams. And it is. It is. We can save this, though. But I, I, I thought that was a, it's well written. You need strength. That statement is saying this is serious with a capital S. This is a, this statement is so when we ask you, Mr. Biden, about this. I need you to respond. That's what that statement is saying. When we ask you about this, President Trump, we need you to respond. When we ask you about this, whoever you are, politician, we need you to have your staffer read it, give you the cliff notes, you read it, and you do something with it. Whether you agree or not, this is serious. So the one sentence that I don't think needs to be in this document and the one sentence that no politician can sign off on is this one. It is abundantly clear that the racial wealth gap has nothing to do with black behavior and everything to do with white privilege. That statement it, it's just, it's too absolute. Um, when you say the racial wealth gap literally has nothing to do. So you're literally saying the, way, the racial wealth gap literally has nothing to do with black behavior. That's too strong of a statement. Um, 
And that's not something that you can prove. That's it's subjective. And so much of this document is objective and numbers oriented and backed with sources that that piece doesn't fit. And I don't think any politician can get behind that statement. Um, there's no person on this planet. That's not about race. There's no person on this planet that can say it is abundantly clear that my wealth gap has nothing to do with my behavior. That's asinine. You, you, it's absolving yourself of responsibility cannot be in the document. That's got to be taken out. And it's only one sentence. There, it's not like this document is filled with sentences like that. I appreciate Ice Cube and how he laid this out. He laid it out in a very confident and strong manner, but also said the document is not perfect. We need discussion around it. Uh, we need to get feedback and improve it. But I really appreciate how he laid this out. And I'm hoping that this will take the conversation from vacuous symbolism vagueness of Black Lives Matter to specifics of let's address this elephant in the room, let's do it together, and we'll be able to move on in a much better place. You know, from my own life, I know that the hardest moments are where my character was built. My character was built in those most difficult moments I've ever had. And that's where we are at in, in our country right now. We are in a very difficult moment and beautiful things can come of it. And I'm looking forward to, to seeing that. Please promote it. Thanks for listening. Take care.